Hey y'all, it's Terry from Sister to the Traveling Brush. And look at this cool mailbox I just got. This is outside my store. We're not reopened yet from Hurricane Laura. I got this, I love it, but it doesn't quite match. This is brown, this is gray. So what I think I'm gonna do is just, and the new lights that I got uh, to go outside, all of the lights and stuff were destroyed are like a black looking, but they call it like a burnished bronze, but it's kind of a black looking. So I thought about doing black on here, but I couldn't find my black paint. So I'm just going to dry brush a little bit of Dixie Belle chocolate on there. And I don't have anything out here with me right this minute. So let's hope that shaking did good enough to stir it up a little. Looks like it did. And I got a couple of chip brushes. This is not my favorite size, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm gonna use. And I got out some of the new uh, Gemstone Mousse in Amber. This will be my first time using it. I'm just gonna touch up on the details with that. I'm gonna use this tiny little chip brush. Whenever you have a chip brush, always make sure to pull the extra bristles out. And with dry brushing, you don't want hardly any on here. I dipped it in probably more than I should have. Let's hope you can see. I'm not wanting this whole thing to turn brown. But I want it to have a brown tinge to it. And I want it to dry really quick so we can put the gemstone mousse on it. Make it look aged. I'm hoping the mailman will be proud of me. We haven't been able to get mail here since August. And this is um, November. So I'm hoping now with a mailbox here that the mailman we'll be able to start bringing our mail again instead of holding it back. See how it's just changing it just a little bit, darkening it up? There's not a lot of light out here. Probably more than I needed, but that's okay. I kinda want all my brush strokes going in the same direction. Even though the gray was beautiful, I'm not gonna worry. Well, now I'm worried about it. I should not opened it. I was thinking I was not gonna worry about it in there because it wasn't gonna show. So I think that it doesn't matter whenever you're uh, putting your color on if it's a little heavier in one place than another because we're wanting it to look time worn. Like some of the paint has worn off and all of that. So that's about all. Um, get in there a little bit more. The brown I'm going to put on it and we'll let some of the gray show through. Because I'm outside with nothing else, we're going to. This is the new gemstone mousse in amber. I thought the amber was going to be the, where's it go? the closest to a bronze looking. That's why I chose this one. Opening it here. <laughs> there you go, all on my hands. So I'm going to try to put, let's see if you can see that, just the end of my brush in there. Oh Lord, now I'm nervous. But you know what? If I don't like it, what we'll do is we'll paint the whole dang thing over again cover that up and try again that's well I did not like it so here we go that's the beauty of paint is you let it dry and you do it again 
It'd be easier if I had a better brush and a brush that only had just a little bit of this on it. I like this so much that I'm going to put just a tad up here. the whole dang mailbox is going on. There it is on the details where I wanted it, but it doesn't look how I want it, so there we go. I'm go a little heavier around these edges and details. Gosh, I love this. I may do the, still come back and do the whole mailbox this color. The gemstone mousse doesn't have to have a sealer over it either, just like the rest of the Dixie Belle paint. You can come back and I still may and wax over anything you want to to show more details so we may come back and put some dark wax on here but I do need to let the gemstone mousse dry before I do that. It'll be the last detail that we need will be the wax so cool hope you enjoy that try the gemstone mousse and send me pictures of your mailbox. Thanks, bye.